How you doing guys? I'm just at the Grand Canal dock here in Dublin and behind me is the Navy Anna. It's a, a ship that was actually built in Dublin um, back in 1958 and uh, it's one of the last riveted ships built in Europe uh, of the garrison like the Titanic and all the ships would have been. So I'm going to try and give you a little bit of history about it and show you it's unfortunate fate at present. The Navy Anna was built in Dublin at the Liffey Dockyard at the Alexandra Basin in Dublin's North Wall. She was built for approximately 150,000, uh, commissioned by CIE. On October 24th, 1957, a Mr. R. W. Sinnott, Chairman of the Irish Shipping Limited, said at the Gresham Hotel that the Navy Anna was not just another ship. But in fact, it was a ship for cattle, pigs, millionaires and tourists alike. It was said that although the Navina would not have the dimensions of a normal Atlantic going liner, it had to stand up to the rigours of the Atlantic weather. And that she did for many years. She became their primary connection between Galway and the Iron Islands, shipping vital supplies gas, wood, timber, cattle, people, millionaires, all the things she was intended for. In fact, she was one of the four ships on site at the loss of the KLM Fly 607E in 1958. The ship, run by CIE, a bus company with a ship, remained giving loyal service to the three Iron Islands, back and forth from Galway Bay, until eventually in 1988 she failed on an inspection and was returned to Dublin. In that time in Dublin in the Grand Canal Dock, she got a second lease of life as a business. In 1996 she was actually used in the film Michael Collins. Over time though she, the ship continued to deteriorate and local people have been calling out for a long time for the ship to be scrapped, while others are hoping for the ship to be saved. Eventually it was moved into the Graven Dock and this is the sorry condition we find the ship in now, in 2023. Unfortunately, when she was brought into this dry dock, I think she was going to be decommissioned until people kind of rallied to have it renovated and fixed up. But unfortunately, this year, 2023, the hull has ruptured somewhere and she's left listing like this. It's a crying shame because like this ship has it's a long history here. And being a Dublin girl, it would be lovely to see it renovated, fixed, and maybe over in Dublin's new cruise uh, terminal that was on split display there like if you've been to see the titanic exhibition in belfast the ss nomadic the renovation they done on that ship is amazing it was just a feeder ship back and forth to the titanic but it's the best part of the exhibition i think if you go visit it um gives you a kind of a feel for what, how grand the titanic must have been but see part of Irish history like this just left like this is is shocking to be honest with you unfortunate um, Faith for her doesn't look good at the moment and I can imagine she'll either be scrapped or I don't know maybe used as a reef or something like that but it would be lovely if people got behind and seeing the ship being fixed up and put on display somewhere be it here Galway or the Iron Islands being from Dublin, I'd love to see you here in Dublin, but maybe the people of the Iron Islands or, or Galway would appreciate it. Either way, it would be great to see it renovated and fixed. Anyway guys, thanks very much for watching the video.
Well guys, thanks very much for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the videos, please consider liking and sharing and subscribe. It does help the channel grow. Thanks very much.